Okay, just going to have a really quick look at how you can make a video walkthrough inside um, Sweet Home 3D. So I've got a, um, a Fusion Street Kitchen design here that we were doing in year 11. And I want to basically make a video of somebody walking through that. So um, basically, here's the character, the, the virtual visit. So when we've gone into 3D view and we've switched on virtual visit, I get my viewpoint here from this uh, perspective. So I'm just going to move this up to the beginning of the kind of um, where they walk into the building in the first place. Just going to face him that way. So he's walking on the path. OK, we're going to go into the, the video camera. You open up this uh, little window. So here's basically the same view that you've got up here. And there's my little person, which is the same as the one over here. Now, all I want to do is move that person at various stages and then click this red button to basically pin those points. So I'm going to click that one to start with. Then I'm going to move my person along down here somewhere. Click again. You can see it's beginning to create this pattern. I'm going to move him down to hit the corner here to this joint. And I'm going to hit this one. I'm going to revolve his view. Sorry, I didn't mean to move that. Revolve my person's viewpoint. So they're looking that way. I've adjusted the wrong. You can see it's a bit fiddly getting the right part here. So I'm going to make sure I get the view back where it was. OK, so hit again. You can see it's changed the view perspective. I'm just going to move them along to about here. Somewhere like that. Hit again turn around the views so they're facing inwards towards this area I'm going to get them to walk click again walk over to here start to turn their viewpoint again back towards the cafe click you see how it works so I'm basically wherever I position that person and click and then alter their viewpoint whether it's actually on the spot moving around so they can take in a kind of view of that whole thing and I can also adjust their their view upwards and downwards so if you want to look at the floor or look at the ceiling you can do that so this is the pattern of what it's going to do now the next thing you have got to decide is basically the quality and the size of the video and I must tell you here that the bigger you go and the better the quality the longer it takes to actually do something so that probably that walk through there is probably about 50 seconds or so which doesn't sound very much but basically 50 seconds even at 720 um, and on fast will probably take about um, four or five minutes to render if I start moving this setting up to something much better looking like 1280 or even full HD go 1080p 9, 1920 by 1080 then you're probably looking at rendering that's going to go for hours and hours possibly overnight but obviously the quality will be way better. So I'm just going to do one on a, on a lower quality now just to show you. So I'm going to go for the 720 um, by 405. So that's still 16.9 ratio. I'm going to leave it on fast. And then all I'm going to do is hit create. So the first thing it does is it goes through. So it already knows there straight away. It's telling me that it's got... Uh, 1,312 images that are made up in that walkthrough and it's going to take something like nine minutes to actually render. So I'm actually not going to stop and watch this whole thing render. Now I'll come back to it when it's done and then show you what it looks like. Okay, so you can see it's almost done. Um, we're going to then have the opportunity to save it. So once it's finished doing this render, which has taken about five minutes or so, I think, um, and there it's just finished so now we can save that I'm just going to pop that onto my desktop for the time being and I'm just going to call that um, demo 3 or something like that hit save and then we'll have a little look at it okay so I've just opened it into VLC player which is a video player and you've got to remember that this is the lowest quality and a fairly small resolution but this is what it looks like
So you can see even at that quality, um, you basically can quite well document what your uh, 3D model looks like. But obviously, if you've got the time and you can actually go for higher quality. So if you actually flick this over to best quality, you can decide what time of the day you want, which obviously puts light and shadows and shades and all sorts of things into the render. It's going to look much better, but it's going to take much longer to do in the first place. But once you've got this um, pattern of what, where you want them to walk, organized you can just redo it as many times as you want the little brush tool on the end deletes record points so if you keep clicking I'm not going to do it now but it will take out these record points and remove them um, so you can start again okay uh, there you go I just wanted to show you as well this is um, PowerPoint 365 so I've just inserted the video through the recording um, tab up here and it works exactly the same so even though it's a different file type than ones you may have come across before this will still be acceptable to go into um, powerpoints so if you wanted to use that as part of a, a an interactive video as well then that's all possible